Now here's your starting lineups. First for our guests, the Seahawks from Hilton Head Island High School. Number five, Jay Wright. Number 11, John O'Gorman. Number 12, Marie Smolin. Number 13, Caleb Spandler. And number 21, Reed Stewart. And now the starting lineup for your Mirima Sharks. Number zero, Gage Duncan. Number one, Bryson Hart. Number three, Tanner Macy. Number four, Joshua Hunter. And number 11, Will Bostwick. Head coach of the Sharks is Matt Whitmore. We welcome you to the Shark Tank. It's the Summit Services Heating and Air Guys Game of the Week as part of the Summit Services High School Basketball Series only on WHHI Sports TV. May River controls the tip and we're underway between seven and four May River and four and 13 Hilton Head. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Chakamad, Jeremy Pope, Lisa Richardson will join us in quarter number two and Samantha Wolf, my girlfriend, helping us out. A little bit of pregame tear down and build up. She's here as well. As we're underway, just about 30 seconds in, Hilton Head still with the basketball, misfiring on a jumper from the outside. The starters for May River, Gage Duncan, Tanner Macy, Joshua Hunter, Andrew Johnson, and Will Bostwick. And for Hilton Head, we'll get you them as we can. As that leaner goes, and May River takes a two nothing lead on the start. Hilton Head coming out with black uniforms tonight. I've never quite seen this look as we've got Tajay Wright in the starting lineup. He's out there. Tyrese Bowman as well as John O'Gorman and number 13, Caleb Spangler. And Kevin, I'm missing one. And I will put you to work here in just a second. John O'Gorman, I mentioned, there's a jumper from number 21, Reese Stewart. There he is, he misfires on three. He can shoot it. Kev, what are you looking for in this game, buddy? Uh, ball control, and these Matt Whitmore teams, they love pressure defense. We'll see how Hilton Head responds. Two nothing Bay River, there's a jumper. That goes, and it's four nothing in favor of the May River Sharks. They again, seven and four coming in, haven't played as much basketball on the year. And Hilton Head comes in four and 13, as Reese Stewart is definitely a player to watch. He can really, really shoot the rock. Your head coach is Matt Whitmore, who's also an assistant athletic director, along with Jermaine Bigham and company, Mycel Garzen, and certainly Richard Bonneville. And on the other side, the AD for Hilton Head is one Joe Monmanier with the head coach of Hilton Head, Shane Brown who has been around for a few years, took over for the great Ken Updike, and Matt Whitmore has been here for the duration of May River as they have the basketball working on the floor. There's a jumper, three-point attempt by Gage Duncan, misfires. Nice and here's take. Hilton in on the other end, put wow. that one up and in, lay in from the right side, beautifully done as Hilton Head gets on the board. Tajay Wright. That's right. Putting that, that's right, that's right. Putting that up, Rick Puente in his 33rd year as an official, Mike DeLee in his 14th year, and John Dodson in his 15th, they are your officials. There's a jumper a little bit too strong, attempted by number three, Tanner Macy, of course, son of Brett Macy, who is now over at Bridges Prep as the AD there. That leaner does not go for Reese Stewart inside one of the first times that we see that. He's an outside guy. We've got a whistle. We've got 458 to go. We've got a 4-2 lead in favor of the home team in White May River over the guests from Hilton Head and at the line. Now it's Actually, common I take foul. it back. There is, there is a guy at the free throw line, but not a shooter. It's a common foul. And Wright will inbound. And he's going to fire it over to Bowman. Bowman swings it. And it's going to go back the other way. Beautiful ball rotation from Hilton Head here in the early part of this one. 4.45 to go. A little tip, a little miss, miscue. Here's May River with a the basketball. They're working it 
Inside, Macy going to fire it inside. He's got Duncan, and Duncan wheels. The junior point guard puts it up and down. Summit Services heating and air, your leader in home performance services in the low country. Thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI sports all year long. Loose ball picked up by Duncan. And Duncan still with it. Kicks it over to Tanner Macy. Macy wheels it on over to number 11, Will Bostwick. That misfires, and it's going back the other way to Hilton Head. Hilton Head's going to have possession. Here's Stewart. Going to swing it over. And the ball is up. Good rotation jumper for Tyrese Bowman. That didn't go. And it's going back to May River. We've got 3.34 to go. In the opening quarter, this quarter has been flying for sure. Court Lifestyle pros of Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home as that is a big jumper. And it goes down. Chicken salad, chicken bluffton, delicious scratch made Southern style served from the heart. And I tell you, that hit the heart of the net there, Kev. Will Bostwick, nice shot, kid. Sports Addiction, your bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over two decades. That's 20 years, folks. Here's Stewart, driving inside, gonna put it up on a great move, go down, ring around the rim and in. Ray Stewart goes inside, plays it in. And it is a 9-4 lead for May River here in quarter number one with just 2.47 remaining in it. Nice little finger roll. Here's a move, and thinking about shooting it and taking it was Duncan misfires. And it's going back the other way. There's a jumper from outside, a little bit too strong. That went off of number five. That is Andrew Johnson, sophomore shooting guard. Oh, wow. Loose ball as that was rejected. Hitting the deck hard is number zero, Gage Duncan, junior point guard. Josh Hunter, heck of a block. A slow start at one and three, six in a row for May River. Lost to Calton in a really hard part, uh, a hard fought game on uh, Tuesday. Seven what? and four overall, 0 and one in the region. A young team, only one senior that's gotten much better as the year's gone on. Coach Matt Whitmore says they have to defend better, get to their shooters, have three or four guys on the floor that can really shoot the ball, defend, contest shots, rebound, long shots, long rebounds, take care of the basketball, limit the turnovers, and get our shot selection and get it good too. Courtesy of Matt Whitmore trying to contain the guards, starting with Stewart and Bowman. They'll take and make tough shots, have to continue to contest and rebound. Can't let our focus get away. Gage Duncan, 19 points. Joshua Hunter, 14 points. Tanner Macy, 12 points. In the last matchup against Colleton, 9-4 uh, still with a minute and 50 seconds left. Kevin let us here from Superior Services. Superior Services make the superior choice. And Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. The Low Red. Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. And what are some of your keys to look for in this one? Again, Matt Whitmore loves press defense. Obviously, the ball control you see on this side of the floor means you cannot, cannot, I'm talking to the Hilton Head Seahawks, cannot give it away. A little bit off the mark. Practices and games have been competitive, courtesy of one Shane Brown. They're getting better every day. Rebounding, boxing out, playing with energy, and moving the basketball to keys. Look out for the guards, he says, as well. 128 remaining oh. in a blazingly fast first quarter. We've got bodies on the floor. There are bodies on the floor. They're flying everywhere. That's a musical reference? Yes, no doubt. Kids, look it up. No doubt, Gwen Stefani? <laughs> I didn't mean that. Oh. But look up, no doubt, and Gwen Stefani, too, while you're at it, kids. Homework. Would you believe there's a lot of music out there? Homework makes you stronger, folks. Well, music homework is kind of fun. 122 to go in the first quarter. Lisa Richardson going to join me for quarter number two coming up here in just a bit. Nine to four, Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackabot, Jeremy Pope, Lisa Richardson, Samantha Wolf. We're with you. There's a three. A little bit off the mark. Got to give credit to Samantha, my girlfriend. She has helped get us ready for this one with the equipment. No doubt she'll help as well on the follow. That misses on the side of Hilton Head. I really love these unis. They look either dark blue or completely black for Hilton Head with the Carolina blue trim. May River going with the solid white with the 
What would you call that, royal blue trim, Kev? Everybody likes a man in uniform. I'd say Navy. There you go, Navy works too. One minute to go. All right, one if by land, two if by sea. Here's your stack. Reminder, officials are needed. Highschoolofficials.com, you can get a lot of exposure becoming an official in a multitude of areas. Here's a pass, gonna go off the mark, trying to get the ball towards the hoop, but it's stolen away, and May River gonna take it over. 44 seconds to go, still 9-4. No urgency. May River leads by five over the guests from Hilton Head. We will see Hilton Head next week at Bluffton. There's a three, actually at home against Bluffton. That three misses by Bryson Hart, the junior shooting guard, point guard. There's another three. It is going to be ring around the rim and out, and it's going back to Hilton Head. Good looks. 22 seconds remaining. There's a three. Book it downtown. Three-pointer courtesy of Court Lifestyle Bros of Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. Tajay's having a good quarter. Is he ever? He knocked that one down, and here's May River on the other end. They're working it. This is going to be the last shot of the quarter. It didn't go down. It was attempted by Joshua Hunter, the junior power forward. That's the end of one. 9-7 in favor of the home team, May River over Hilton Head. Lisa Richardson will join me next. Quarter number two after this break. On WHHI Sports TV, it's the guys' game of the week. Summit Services High School Basketball Series. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. We welcome you back to the second quarter of the Guys Game of the Week here on WHHI Sports TV in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. May River and Hilton Head 9-7 in favor of the home team entering quarter number two. Lisa Richardson joins me now. Lisa obviously doing a lot with WHHI, work in the front desk, and uh, certainly with FCA. Lisa, great to have you on. Hey, managing the news, don't forget that. Absolutely. Uh, Marcus. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Both are a blessing. Thanks for having me, Marcus. Absolutely. Talk about that first. Is that jumper a little bit off the mark? And it's going to go back to Hilton Head. Talk about the news and what we've been up to with the daily news yeah, the last couple of years. We are almost two years into our broadcast wow. now. Every day, Monday through Friday, you can catch WHHI TV News on Hargrave Spectrum, now on Fire and Roku. Roku on stream at whhitv.com will bring you the latest in local news. Shout out to Fire and Roku and everything for getting, and, and our folks, Jeremy Pope for sure, for getting that going. As the ball's loose, we look to have a jump ball situation. Maria Soden, obviously, in addition to editing and, and everything that she does, filming as well with news and other things, she does the weather and she does a fine job at that as well. What's the experience been like for you to get that daily newscast up and going? It's been a great reward. It's been a lot of work, but it's teamwork. Uh, it's reaching out to so many people in the community. So it's bringing a lot of people together to talk about what's important in our local area uh, of our area counties. Talk a little bit too about just the day to day, obviously post COVID a few years now, and there are more and more people coming in to the station. When you're not there, I usually am filling it for you at the front desk. And we see people coming in on the daily. Sometimes there are five, six guests coming in at a time. It is a busy happening place. Well, the news is the news. So it's a 24 hour revolving clock. We're booking stories at evening, uh, the email. Uh, we, I'll go out, very important to know we go out on location. 
and we try to capture events and things happening. Guests can join via Zoom, so just a matter of managing the guests uh, each day and scheduling what the important stories are to get out there. Still 9-7, we've got a whistle as May River tried to go inside and get a shot. We've got a May River player injured. That is number 11. That's Will Bostwick. He's getting up slowly. Looks like he took one towards the midsection. And certainly tell us, Lisa, when we can find the news on WHHI. Yes, absolutely, Marcus. It will premiere every day at 5 p.m. and then it runs every odd hour. So you can catch it 5, 7, 9, 11, and then back up in the morning and we, then we come out with our new premiere at 5 the next day. And I know you've done a little bit of stuff with the news. I've done certainly some stuff. I haven't anchored yet, but I've done some stuff with the news. But our core of news anchors, led by Bob Stevens, do a terrific job. Yeah, let me do a shout out to our news anchors. We've Absolutely. got Bob Stevens, we've got Robin Zimmerman, Betsy McDaniel, Allie McNair, a lot of our team, our correspondents with, as you said, Maria does weather. We have uh, others that come and do fashion. Some will do local events every week. We have a report by uh, Jessica Jeremiah and Diane Fisher-Simmons. Justin Jarrett does his last night in the Loco and Loco Lights on Monday. Justin is here tonight. Shout out to Loco Sports, he, Wes Kerr, yes. everybody involved. I'll be on the Loco Hoops Roundup and report later as it's still 9-7. Yes. Can't with... forget Justin. Big, he's a huge asset. You can catch yeah. him every day on the headlines. Absolutely. News. And on Mondays for a full five report from the weekend. That's right. It's it's very, very important stuff. Talk about some of the other things that you've seen with the station. Uh, just changing and evolving since you've been involved is it you like me started off predominantly as a reporter yeah the station has really increased and grown tremendously over the last two years we'll give a shout out to our station general manager Jessica Jeremiah for spearheading everything right we've got a lot of new shows premiering this year uh, one exciting one is the boat show I've seen that I saw it just the other day it looks phenomenal yeah we just came out with a Rick Cattell show that's just gonna premiere we have some of our Fan favorites, Talk of the Town, 843 TV, uh, still running. Where communities come to speak, by the way. By the way, that's my show. That's I know fun. it is. Yeah. You and Catherine do a great job on it. Put that one up and down for number three. That's Tanner Macy. Wow, Macy with the off-balance shot and the first points of the quarter to make it an 11-7 game. He's got an and one coming from the line. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's, it's a great, uh, the WHHI TV is great for all our local news. Uh, airing now almost into Savannah, so it's really brought in quite a bit. No question about it. We've got number 11 coming in. That's Will Boswick coming back in for May River and Macy at the line. 11 7, 5 17 to go in the first half. Kevin and I will have our halftime thoughts on the halftime report coming up shortly. Here's Macy again, driving inside, put that one up, off the glass, tip back on a rebound from Will Bostwick. It didn't go, and Hilton Head's going to retain possession of the basketball once again with Bowman driving hard. Got that to go with a beautiful right hand from the left side of the hoop. Beautifully done for Kyrese Bowman. Talk about now, Lisa, what FCA's up to. Yes. Been a while since you gave an update with them. Yeah, FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. I've been very blessed to go. I'm in my 10th year with FCA. It's a full-time sports ministry. And we do right here. We go to the schools. We work with the athletics, through and through the coaches and the teams. And our goal is to teach biblical Christian values, uh, teamwork, excellence, patience. Uh, we, we're, ta we're teaching the word of God to our kids in the schools and actually getting them to leave. We have what we call huddles, named after the sports huddles. Yes. Or that's our training ground where we're lead, um, kids can come together. I lead some coaches Bible studies, one awesome. here at May River, one at Hilton Head High School, and we get together with the coaches and we talk about coaching challenges in the coaching world today and how do you deal with them from a biblical perspective. We had a whistle and it's going back to May River. 13 to nine in favor of the home team, four minutes, 14 seconds left. Marcus Walsh, Lisa Richardson, the rest of our WHHI crew with you. Kevin will be back with me shortly. Jeremy Pope and Larry Jackamot behind the scenes. That leader won't go for number four, Joshua Hunter, and it's going back the other way. I know you have three daughters, and two of them are in college. Yes, sir. Gracie's gonna be heading off to college in two about years. another year, two, two years. years. Yes. Uh -huh. She's at Bluffton, right? You're right, yes. Chances are we might see her next week at the Bluffton Hilton Head I game. I think you will, you'll see us there all for sure. Yes. Sounds great. Uh -huh. Yes. Were they involved in any sports growing up? Actually, your middle daughter, Jennifer, plays golf now at yeah, Alabama, well, right? She, well, no, she used to in high school. She's, okay. she's attending Alabama, she doesn't play golf there. She um, 
you know, but let me a shout out to the girls. Next day was an instrumental part of their life in sports and in life, and they've taken it on into college as well. So it's this awesome. is a great. It's, yeah, FCA goes from middle high school all the way into college and even professional sports. That's great. Um, right looking. here, and I'll share South Coastal. Sure. We're in Beaufort County, Hampton County, Jasper County. I'm here in Hilton Head Bluffton. We serve about 35 schools in general, private and public. And like I said, we're there to just make better uh, leaders of, the, of God through a godly perspective. And that's Amen. We need that in the world. That's awesome. Talk about what's um, what's ahead for both WHHI this year and FCA. Any events that you want to plug? Yeah, I'm going to plug some FCA events coming up. Uh, we always have our annual Heart and Soul Dinner is for um, a great donor event, good fundraiser event, end of February. Always have the Christian Heritage Breakfast coming up in Absolutely. April. We also have a pro speaker. We're working on that now. Um, getting that together. I know you've covered that for WHHI for years, being your event, but I've covered it the last couple of years, mm -hmm. the Heritage Breakfast. It is an awesome, awesome event. It is. We get during 500 the of the Heritage people Week. right in there in the morning at 730 in the morning. It's, yes. it's incredible. It's it a is, lot of work, but it's a great It is an event to get up and get ready for. That's right. It's, it's, sure it is so great. Yeah, so we're working on that. Uh, big thing we do, a part of FCA's ministry is camps. Uh, we do team camps, we do individual leadership camps. We send kids away, we send whole teams away, like a whole football team. We actually hosted a football team camp at USCB last year with eight teams. A lot of them were local where they stay overnight for two nights. They have, they have of course they have football, but they have a lot of faith-based sessions too, and that's where they're really learning how to bond as a, as right. a group. Bree Stewart just made two free throws to make it 13-11. A reminder, officials.com for all your official needs, and there are needs of officials, highschoolofficials.com yes, in conjunction with the National Federation of High Schools. That shot's gonna miss fire, and our officials have a lot of experience here. There are a lot of benefits to becoming an official. Highschoolofficials.com, more info on that as the broadcast continues. We've got two minutes, 38 seconds to go. Here in the first half, Kevin Libby and I will have the second half coming up shortly. But before that, the halftime report, we'll have our first half thoughts and get you ready for half number two of a good game here, 13-11. Were you involved in any sports growing up? I was up? not, actually, Marcus. You know what I was always interested in right here with the team? With the team. I, I know. You, you've you been wanting to do this for a really yeah. long time, and you're, you're making your dreams come true for sure and, and doing a great job. It's, it's great to be able to call you a friend and colleague and work with you every single day Thank of the week. Thank you, Marcus. It's been You're fun welcome. doing the second quarter with you to talk about yeah. the two things that I love, right? That's that's great. And and you All do right. a great you, job, certainly, with both. you do a great job on Thank the football much. and right here in the basketball. Put right that one up and down as Hilton Head gets the lead extended to 15-11. Talk a little bit about what's upcoming. You mentioned FCA with some events, but what does WHHI have in particularly on location as Reese Stewart misses the three? Certainly, golf is getting going. Heritage coverage this year, right? Yes, for sure. Heritage is a huge part of what we do at the station. We are very fortunate to partner with uh, the folks at the RBC Heritage, and we get to we get to go on site. We we get to cover the behind the scenes events. We don't cover the golf. That's that's not allowed. But we do get to cover what volunteers are doing, what the right. staff is doing, what the operations are looking like behind the scenes. So it's a great thing. We have to cover what the media is doing. Be part of that. Bryson Hart coming out as the ball touched the baseline with him and the May River Sharks. It looks to be, I take it back, it will be May River ball. He was near the baseline as the inbound is going to come from Andrew Johnson. He gets it back, puts up a shot, not going to go, and it's going back the other way to Bowman and Hilton Head as they go across the floor. Bowman going to put one up, get it to go. That was smooth. I know you said you weren't involved in sports, but did you have a favorite sport, or do you have oh, a favorite absolutely. sport? I think I know the answer to this, being from football. where you are. Yeah. Yes, pro football. Here we go. Big weekend coming up tomorrow. My team lost last weekend. Go yes. Steelers, right? But I'm a big fan of uh, Buffalo Bills. Shout out to my husband there. Uh, we'll see what they can do versus Kansas City tomorrow. No, That's Sunday. a nice shot. Sunday. Yeah, we got Baltimore tomorrow, and we got yep. Kansas City. Baltimore, also. Houston, and Buffalo, Kansas City in the AFC, Green Bay, San Francisco, and Detroit and Tampa in the NFC. There's Bowman, put that one up and down. Kyrie Bowman makes it 17-15. Do you have a Super Bowl pick that you want to see? Um, I want to see Buffalo. Let's go Buffalo, right? How, how about the NFC? Uh, Detroit, you know, maybe? I don't Tampa? Follow, I don't follow them as much, I have to say. Okay. So that's, it's a, it doesn't matter to me who we get there. Lisa Richardson yeah. taking the bills yeah. and the over. Yes, right, exactly. Well, Marcus, it's been a blessing to be on here with you. And Absolutely, it's been great having you. And God bless.
God bless you, and thank you so much for everything you do, Lisa. Six seconds left. There's a jumper, a little bit too strong. 2.5 seconds to go, and we're about ready to wrap up the first half. 17-15 in favor of the home team from May River. Lisa Richardson joining me in the second quarter. Larry Jackamot, Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, my girlfriend Sam Wolf alongside Justin Jarrett here for Loco Sports as well. 17-15, two and a half seconds to go. The inbound. And Hilton Head is going to throw up a prayer, and it's going to be intercepted. That's the end of the first half. 17-15 in favor of the home team, Bay River over Hilton Head. The second half coming up shortly, but first the halftime report. Kevin and I with our thoughts. It's next on the Guys Game of the Week, the Summit Services High School Basketball Series, only on WHHI Sports TV. Come on back. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the Lowcountry. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Melichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Welcome into the halftime show of the Summit Services Guys Game of the Week, presented by Summit Services in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, the rest of our crew with you. Kev, 17-15 in favor of the home team, May River, at halftime. What were your thoughts on the first half? First half, we're not seeing a whole heck of a lot of set offense. We're mostly seeing, you know, drive and kick. So, low scoring, defense wins. Some key players to look out for in the second half as well as some key performances to summarize in half number one. I think Tajay Wright might be the best player on the floor, at least from what I can tell. Hilton Head Seahawks have a lot of talent in that young man. Can't wait to see what he does. For the Sharks, I like Gage Duncan. I think his physicality has really changed the game. I know you like the way Tanner Macy's shooting the ball. I, I do. I agree with you, though. He needs to set a little bit better before shooting the basketball. And... Uh, Going to be a fun second half of action. What are some keys, some quick keys for both teams in a very tight matchup? It's been frenetic, so have a great halftime speech, fellas. Calm down, ball control. <laughs> Relax. Chill. Just, just like Aaron Rodgers once said. That is our halftime thoughts, and this has been our halftime report. We've got second half action coming up next on WHHI Sports TV. It's the Guys Game of the Week, presented by Summit Services in the high school basketball series, only on WHHI Sports TV. Again, half number two, coming at you next. Did you know your brain doesn't fully develop until your mid-20s? Substance use harms brain development, causes mental health disorders, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. Pain medication and substance use increases mental health disorders and leads to addiction. All of these substances negatively affect brain development and function. Don't let your team down. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. We welcome you back to the second half here at the Shark Tank. It's 17-15 in favor of the May River Sharks. Hilton Head in the dark blue. They've got it. 
And they control the tip. We are underway in quarter number three. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jacobot, Jeremy Pope, Justin Jarrett, Lisa Richardson, and Sam Wolf with you. Put that in for three. That was Kyrie's, right? That's what it looked like to me. Number five, knock that down to start half number two. 18-17, and I gave Justin a plug there that he is here for Loco Sports. Shout out to him. I'll be on the Loco Hoops report after this game. Here's Reese Stewart driving inside. His ability inside has been something to watch today. That didn't go down as a lay-in from the right side was attempted. It won't go. On the other end, Duncan misfires. Reminder, Summit Services Heating and Air, your leader in home performance services in the low country, thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long. That jumper won't go for Kyrie's Bowman, and it's going back again the other way as leaning into that one, misfiring, is number 11, Will Bostwick. Oh, Rem yeah. Reminder, chicken salad, chick, another missed shot, and it's going to go and tipped up as... Hilton Head continues to have it. There's a three ball bucket. Three ball and a beauty as Tyrese knocks it in. And we've got a stoppage. 21 17, 639 to go in the quarter. We're going to take a timeout after we let you know that Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty let us lead you home. Timeout. We'll be back on WHHI Sports TV. I'm Daniel Court. And I'm Debbie Court. And we are Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Some of the buyers and sellers that we encounter naturally experience that fear of change. But we once heard that life truly begins at the end of our comfort zones. So if you're ready to make a change, give us a call and let us lead you home. Announcing the inaugural season of college basketball at the University of South Carolina Beaufort. Get ready to join in on the frenzy and excitement of college basketball as the Sandsharks take on opponents at home in the USCB Recreation Center located on campus at One University Boulevard in Bluffton, South Carolina. You can find home and away game schedules for both men and women teams on uscbathletics.com. Don't miss this amazing season and catch the frenzy everyone is talking about. We welcome you back. We've got 6.35 remaining in the third quarter. 21-17 in favor of Hilton Head. They are on a 6-0 run to start the quarter as May River has the basketball. They're working it around on the perimeter side, something that they do a lot of. There's a three well short, or well long. It was well off the mark. Either way, and it's stolen again. May River's got another chance. Here's Tanner Macy, son of Brent, who's now the AD at Bridges Prep. We'll see them in a couple of weeks against Whale Branch. Loose ball. Next week, we'll see Hilton Head hosting May. Uh, we'll see Hilton Head hosting Bluffton, I beg your pardon. Loose ball is picked up by Hilton Head. Here's a glide and losing control of the basketball. It is going to go out of bounds. That was an entertaining little sequence there. That was fun. Caleb Springer, or rather, Caleb Sprangler had it, and he lost it, number 13. Jane Brown, 51 and 55 all time, 23 and 16 in region play, four and four all time versus May River. And for May River, Matt Whitmore, 77 and 69 all time at May River, 28 and 32 in region action, seven and six for Hilton Head all time. Again, I mentioned Whitmore and Bigham have coached since May River's inception. And I mentioned the AD uh, in rotation, if you will, for May River is gliding to the hole strong as Bostwick puts that up with a right hand. The junior gets it to go, and it's 30, it's 21 to 19. There's a deep jumper way off the mark, tip back, and it's going back. Oh. Beautifully done as Gary Bowman puts it back. There's Tashe right for three. A Court Lifestyle Pros three point play. Let us lead you home, Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. It's two in a row for Tashe. He's shooting well. So Wright knocks it down. Now at the other end. Oh, back-to-back -back triples. That was number five, Andrew Johnson, delivering from bonus land. And that's not a reference to Wheel of Fortune, by the way. That's legit bonus land. <laughs> As it's going back to Hilton Head, second chance opportunity inside. Put that one up and in. And it's 26-22. 
with four minutes and 32 seconds left. The assistant ADs as we've got a whistle. One of them's right there in Matt Whitmore. The others are certainly Richard. Uh, I'll, I'll get him for you in a second. We've got a timeout. Be right back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. We welcome you back. May River with possession of the basketball. 26-22, 4.25 to play. Assistant ADs, Maisel Garcon, Richard Bonneville for winter and spring. The AD assistant for the fall is one Matt Whitmore. He's also the golf coach at Shopness Fires and the head AD, of course, Jermaine Bigham. And Joe Monmanier, the AD for Hilton Head. Certainly want to shout out one, as that didn't quite go in. It's going to go back the other way. The, re the rest of the staff of Hilton Head for sure. And again, we're going to see them next week against the Bluffton Bobcats. The principals, Stephen Skidrich for Hilton Head and Karan Webb for May River. Karan Webb in his early tenure at May River doing fine things with that program and that institution for sure, Kevin. I concur, Doctor. Kyrie's Bowman at the line made one of two. Oh, well, he made one of one. He's going for two. Let's see if he can finish it off. 27-22, 4.05 remaining, that one goes down. Reminder that Sports Addiction is your bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. That's two decades, folks. There's Brett Macy on the baseline, watching his son. And Brett does a great job. Again, we'll see him, Whale Branch, hosting Bridges Prep in a couple of weeks here on WHHI Sports. It's a basketball town. Absolutely. There's a three, Macy, bang! Bottoms for Tanner Macy, number three, to make it a 28-25 game. May River sticking with it. They were down, actually they were up 17-15 at half. And this has been neck and neck here in the second half, but you were talking about in the halftime report, very defensive matchup between these two teams. Maybe a bit surprising. Oh, but now we're seeing the offense come out though. They're making more shots, they're taking better shots. Case in point, Kyrie's Bowman. I'm oh a big my fan. Gosh. He's putting it down like crazy. And anything you do get Tajay open, that kid knocks it down like it's going out of style. Rick Puente, 33 years officiating. Mike D'Elia, 14. John Dotson, 15. Hilton Ed trying to retain possession of the basketball. They're going to work it around. And they slow it down big time. Officials work to maintain the integrity of sports they officiate and ensure student athletes have a safe environment to play them in as that shot misses. Nice rebound for Hilton Ed. They are gonna have a chance at it. Bowman misses, he's got it back. We've got a scrum, Bowman puts it up. It won't go, there was a whistle. He's going to the line for a couple. Without our officials, our student athletes would not be able to enjoy the sports they love. So show appreciation to the unsung heroes of interscholastic contests today. Remember Glenn Rice? Oh yeah. For some big, reason, big guy. Kyrie's Bowman's reminded me of a, a prime Glenn Rice. Yeah. He is, he's impacting the game dramatically. He's using his body, and he's got a nice soft touch. Bowman at the line, knocks it down. 29-25, again, the same situation with the girls game that we saw. Fouls are down. This is good, solid, clean basketball, and very competitive from the outset here in the guys game. Macy at the top of the key. He's gonna try to get around Reese Stewart. He shifts it off. Here's a drive, turn around, Duncan didn't get it to go, rebound, and a beautiful save as May River 
is going to corral it. Karan Green, a football star, number 24, getting a touch there. He's played in eight games, averaging about four points and a couple of rebounds a game. Right, five points. Bowman, six points. Danzel, four points for Hilton Head. On the other side, Duncan, two. Macy, two. Hunter, six. And Boswick, seven for May River as there's a jumper from the outside not gonna go. It was attempted by number 11. Will Four. Boswick. Actually, it was Hilton Head no, I'm the that worst. took it. John O'Gorman. Thank you. Sorry, John. Yeah, John O'Gorman, number 11. Here's Gage Duncan taking it across the floor. They're gonna go from left to right. Nice pass goes into Karan Green, stolen away momentarily. Karan's got it back. Look at the big man rumble inside, and he got fouled. Don't let him tell you basketball is not a contact sport. Absolutely, I say it all the time. Basketball is most, def most definitely a contact sport. Karan Green at the line. These are big shots. Now you can make it a one possession game with a make here. We're coming into money time. 29-25. One minute, 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. The tension's real. I can feel it in the crowd. Absolutely. It's palpable, as they say. I Let's can taste it. Here from Superior Services. Superior Services, make the superior choice. Yes, indeed. Why eat roast beef when you can have filet mignon? There's a jumper from downtown, not going to go for Tanner Macy. Buy the whole tenderloin at the grocery store. Discover the reverse sear. That's right. Reminder, Chicken Sound Chick of Bluffton was our food sponsor and timeout sponsor oh. today. Rejected! Get that out of here! Are you kidding me? Good grief! You could live on that block. Oh, maybe the one next to it, too. <laughs> Chicken good. salad, chick, delicious, scratch made, southern style, served from El Corazon. That's the heart for our Spanish viewers. We when love it, you, Gustavo Ratia. Buenas noches, amigo. Ha <laughs> 29-25. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackabout, Jeremy Pope, Lisa Richardson, Sam Wolf alongside, as well as Justin Jarrett from Loco Sports. There's a jumper. Oh, bottoms, put it down. That's number 11, Will Boswick. Thank you, Kev, for the assist. The junior, the small forward, making it a 29-28 ball game. Big shot. Note from Jeremy Pope at halftime, it is dark blue, very dark blue, that the Seahawks are wearing here tonight as driving inside, not able to get much going there, was number 15, Kevin Smith. He's the junior, averaging 3.8 points per game. And 2.7 rebounds, a steal a game, and a turnover a game. He's played in six, and he's in there now, number 15 for Hilton Head. There he is, standing near the free throw line. Here's Bowman. Uh, it's not Bowman, it's Tajay Wright getting it inside. Stewart kicks it out to Kevin Smith. 44 seconds to go in a fast pace. But good pace, third quarter. Much more entertaining quarter. And a whistle. Offensive. As Tyrese Wright, or Tyre Wright had it. Tyje Wright, I'll get yeah. it. Third ball. time's a charm. Off ball foul, moving screen. Really competitive quarter. I mean, we're coming into the fourth here. We got one point game. Absolutely. 29 28. It was 17 15 in favor of May River at the half. Nice pass inside. Able to corral it and then throwing it away is number five, that's Andrew Johnson. Beautiful job to corral it before it went out of bounds, and Matt Whitmore is livid. What's up to the fan section? I think it's Barbie night. Sounds right. Lots of Barbie t-shirts. <laughs> 18 seconds left, there's a jumper well short. Stewart trying to get the rebound, he does. He's gonna swing it over, get it back, swing it back over as it is Kevin Smith touching it. And there's a jumper from Stewart, a little bit off the mark. One second left, and this will end the quarter. It's a heave, and it's just a little bit short. 
We've got the end of three, 29-28, in favor of Hilton Head over May River. It's the guys' game of the week in the Summit Services Heating and Air High School Basketball Series. Quarter four, next. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the Superior choice. Call Superior today. Announcing the inaugural season of college basketball at the University of South Carolina Beaufort. Get ready to join in on the frenzy and excitement of college basketball as the Sand Sharks take on opponents at home in the USCB Recreation Center located on campus at One University Boulevard in Bluffton, South Carolina. You can find home and away game schedules for both men and women teams on uscbathletics.com. Don't miss this amazing season and catch the frenzy everyone is talking about. We welcome you back. We start the fourth quarter here at the Shark Tank, home of the May River Sharks. They come in seven and four on the year. Hilton Head comes in four and 13. Six and six, the rivalry set in this one. I went over the coaches' records overall in their careers earlier. Matt Whitmore has been the head coach of May River since its inception in 1617. And Shane Brown is still at the helm, under 500 overall, but has a really, really good region record and is at 500 against May River in his career. Hilton Head with the basketball in the dark blue to start this quarter. The final one is we've got 7.38 to go in the ball game and a whistle. May River will have the basketball. Offensive 29-28. Yeah, Kyrie's Bowman got hit with uh, extending the arm. Don't do that. Here is May River and White with the basketball. They're working it around and doing a great job doing that. Will Bostwick touching it and company. Here is Andrew Johnson also touching it. Joshua Hunter. May River taking plenty of time. Here's Hunter on a drive, kicks it back out. Here is Tanner Macy. He and Gage Duncan have been huge. There's Duncan kicking it out. Macy, three. A little bit off the mark, too strong. Bowman gets the rebound and getting up slowly, but able to get up is Tanner Macy. Macy, again, 12 points the other day against Colleton. Stats on the season as Stewart's got the ball for Hilton Head. He's gonna fire in a rare miss three, well short. Gage Duncan averaging 13.4 points per game, 3.5 assists, two steals. Tanner Macy averaging 10.3 points a game. As he had it, he gave it up, going inside, put that one up and down for Joshua Hunter, who's averaging 7.9 points per game, four and a half rebounds a game. Will Boswick at seven points per game, 6.6 .6 rebounds. Andrew Johnson shooting 89% from the free throw strike. Misfiring on the other end is Hilton Head and May Rivers got it with a 30 to 29 lead. There's a jumper a little bit off the mark. Rebound goes back to May River. They again lead 30-29. 6 4 remaining in regulation. This game could very well come down to the wire. It's been tight all game. There's a nice pass from Duncan inside. Putting that one up and in is Josh Hunter. And Kev, Hunter looking really good. Yes, sir. Anytime you get inside and get open, it's the easiest place to score. Nothing beats a layup. What are some keys heading into the fourth quarter that you see? Let's call them Kevin's keys to the fourth. Slow down. That's most of it. I mean, it's going to get really loud in here, Marcus. Both sides, huge fans. It's a basketball town. We've got a three-point, one-possession game. It's a rivalry game, all right? We're talking about going over that bridge to Hilton Head. It's where most of our friends and family work if you're over here in Bluffton. I tell you, it feels good to beat the guys over the bridge. Can the Shocks do it? It's going to be interesting to see what happens. The remaining five and a half in regulation. Driving inside is Macy, we've got a whistle. Let us hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, using the community to promote positive choices. Marcus, you live on Hilton Head. I do. You got a root, I know you don't really have a rooting interest, you're a journalist. No, 
I'm, I'm a broadcaster. We're, I'm we're a play by play. I hear you, brother. I am objective at the, at the heart. There's a jumper. I, ro I root for all these kids, the coaches, the families. I was talking to Lisa Richardson about that in the second quarter. It's so huge, as well as Daniel Godson. So huge. Officials work to maintain the integrity of the sports they officiate and ensure student Ooh, athletes field. have a safe environment to play in. Without our officials, our student athletes would not be able to enjoy the sports they love. So show your appreciation to the unsung heroes of interscholastic contests today. Rick Puente, 33 years officiating. Mike D'Elia, 14 years, and John, Dod John Dodson, 15. They're your officiating crew here tonight for this guy's game, as well as the girls that we saw earlier today. Five minutes to play. There's no shot clock in high school ball. These are really big shots for Will Boswick. He's a junior, he's a small forward, and the kid's having a game. Boswick at the line. Knocks it down. That one's true. Far side of the court, our good friend Justin Jarrett and that beanie. Hey, JJ. He certainly is, and he's he's rocking that beanie. He wears everything well. Sarah Beachkovsky moore shout out to her. She is tremendous. She does a little bit of stuff, certainly, with, with basketball, but predominantly football. She's one of our go-tos when it's football season, and we are at Hilton Head. Nice shots, big shots. We have four minutes, 55 seconds remaining. 34-29 in favor of the home team. May River, that jumper a little bit off the mark, tipped, and it's going back to May River. They go from left to right on your television screen. Here's Gage Duncan, number zero. Matt Whitmore calling out signs and the signals. Matt Whitmore's mom actually knows my aunt. They're very good friends in Canton. Well, you all live extremely close together back in Ohio. We do. Originally from the Canton, Ohio area. Gliding inside and not able to get that one to go is number four, Joshua Hunter. But Hunter looks ahead to the line. Four minutes, 23 seconds to go. John O'Gorman, I feel you, brother. You should be upset. This is a huge moment in the game. Hunter at the line. Missed it front rim. Become a high school official. Make the right call. Be the difference maker your community needs. High school graduation shouldn't have to end your involvement with high school athletics. You can become an official by joining in a, a uh, local officials association sanctioned by the South Carolina High School League. Benefits of officiating. Become physically fit. Make new friends. Become a positive influence in the young person's life. Stay involved in the game you love. Earn extra income. Learn more about a sport you love or learn more about a sport you don't know about. Give back to your community. Become an official, hashtag HighSchoolOfficials.com. Hashtag once again, become an official. Do it today. It's part of the NFHS, the National High School, National Federation of High Schools, rather. Carissa Niehoff does great work with the NFHS, as well as a bunch of others throughout the country. Carissa based out of Indianapolis. Hilton Head with the basketball, trailing by six, three minutes, 43 seconds to go in the game. John Dodson on the crew. He's one of my, my, one of my go to fellas. Uh, nice officiated game this evening. Right. With a pass off a of Bowman pass. It's going to get this basketball back. Is right. Uh -oh. Tipped. It's uh -oh. going back the other way. Here goes Bostwick. Lays it in with the right hand to make it 37 29. They're on their feet in Bluffton. Long pass. And here goes Bowman. Kicking it over to Reese Stewart. I've been really surprised that Reese Stewart hasn't been able to really shoot it from three land tonight for the most part. He's made a couple, but he's been a lot better at that in other games this year. We've got a whistle. 3.06 to go, timeout, fourth quarter. It's 37-29 in favor of the home team May River in the high school game of the week in the Summit Services basketball series. The high school basketball series only on WHHI Sports. Back after this. I'm Daniel Court. And I'm Debbie Court, and we are Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Some of the buyers and sellers that we encounter naturally experience that fear of change. But we once heard that life truly begins at the end of our comfort zones. So if you're ready to make a change, give us a call and let us lead you home.
Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. We welcome you back. 3.06 remaining in the game. May River coming in at 7 and 4, leading 37 to 29. Eight point ball game. Here's Bowman. May River led 17 15 at the end of the first half. I believe they led 9 7. It was 9 7 at the end of the first quarter. Hilton had led by 129-28 at the end of three. Here's a drive, and Wright didn't get that to go. It was wrong. <laughs> Off the right side of the backboard. Tajay is a great and player. Rip. Give him time. Yes, indeed. He's been great tonight. Here's Tanner Macy and company. Gage Duncan working around. And working through right, puts that up. There was a whistle. Travel. And a travel indeed. One too many steps. Hilton had basketball. Right. Two minutes, two minutes, 18 seconds remaining. So if I'm coach, I want Tajay off ball. I get he's the ball handler up here. You can get him a screen right in front, maybe get him a look. But I want him off ball getting a catch and shoot three pointer. No doubt. May River, if they hang on, they'll go to eight and four. Hilton Head will fall to four and 14 on the season. Again, a, a good record between these two teams. They've had a lot of wins in each scenario. And these coaches coach these guys up right. AEDs are great. The ADs are great. The families are great. Kids are great. We've got a whistle. 150 to play. And we do have a timeout. Both teams heading to their benches. Back with more next. Did you know your brain doesn't fully develop until your mid-20s? Substance use harms brain development, causes mental health disorders, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. Pain medication and substance use increases mental health disorders and leads to addiction. All of these substances negatively affect brain development and function. Don't let your team down. Welcome back. We've got a minute and 50 seconds left in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series Guys Game of the Week. Here from the Shark Tank at May River, Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackabout, Jeremy Pope, Lisa Richardson. We had the great Daniel Godson and the girls broadcast. Sam Wolf, my girlfriend, helping us out behind the scenes. Justin Jarrett here as well. And we've got a little stoppage, a whistle, and another timeout. We'll take it, be back after this on WHHI Sports TV. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today.
May River with a basketball. 125 remaining. They look to go to eight and four on the year. Duncan kicks it over to Macy. Hilton had stick it to Macy like Elmers. There is Joshua Hunter swinging it over. Back to Gage Duncan. May River's like Captain Hook. They're killing this clock. Bostwick kicks it back to Hunter. It's going to go back the other way. Bostwick going inside, inside out. And a foul with 102 to go as Reese Stewart was all over Gage Duncan. Eight points, one minute to play. It's not insurmountable, but it's pretty unlikely. Indeed. I've really enjoyed the atmosphere from the girls' game and this guy's game from the Absolutely. cheerleaders. Do you remember Bring It On? Yes. Well, tonight, my friend, it has been Baratton. <laughs> the Jamie Presley line huh. in the movie, not another teen movie. For that's those, really good. Yeah, that's a great film. And we're going to see Hilton Head next week as they take on Bluffton at home at the Nest in girls and guys action on WHHI Sports TV. Hilton Head with the basketball under a minute to go. They are down 38-29 and misfiring, so it's going to be May River ball now. Here is Gage Duncan swinging it over to Bostwick. Bostwick, boss control. Now they're fouling, they're stopping the clock. Let's we'll see if we're in the bonus. Two shots, we Bostwick on Bostwick going to the line. He's had a heck of a game. This kid, he really has. small forward, nice, nice use of his body, very athletic, really impacted the possession of the ball throughout the game. And puts that one down from the free throw line. Good passer, good rebounder. Yeah. A lot, lot of the essentials. No question. Got it. And it's 40 to 29 with 40 seconds left. We've got the post game show coming up shortly. Kevin and I with Matt Whitmore and a player to be named as our player of the game. We'll interview both of them and wrap this one up. And again, we'll see Hilton Head Bluffton next week. And the girls and guys games of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series only on WHHI Sports TV. Hey, y'all, if you're thinking about streaming television, did you know we're on Roku? Yes. The WHHI. We're also on Fire TV. Amazon Fire Stick? Fire TV. Ah. Also I'll, a streaming service. I'll stick with that. <laughs> I like it. Lisa was talking about that as, long, or as well as the news and upcoming events for FCA. WHHI beyond her thoughts as a reporter even gave me a Super Bowl pick has put that one up and in for Joshua Hunter the lean in she says uh, Buffalo since her Steelers lost she says Buffalo and I said take the over all right she likes the Bills I I like the Bills too but I like the Ravens a little bit better yeah you're not joshing no I'm Lamaring, <laughs> and I really like uh, the winner of the Detroit-Tampa game, if I'm being honest as well. Well, you've always loved that Baker Baker touchdown maker. And I tell you what, Detroit would be the Cinderella. They are the sweetheart story of the football world. Gage Duncan, that, that game will be in a couple of weeks. We'll have time to make our picks when we're uh, at the oh, yeah. uh, Bridges Prep Lail Branch game. We'll have some fun. Gage Duncan, big game kid. Always fun Absolutely. watching you, football and basketball. Eight seconds left. Here's Bowman. Five seconds. He's going to dribble this one on out. He's going to take a shot, and it's not going to go down. The final score of the guys' game of the week on the Summit Services High School Basketball Series here on WHHI Sports is 43-29 in favor of May River. They go to 8-4. Hilton Head falls to 4-14. We've got the postgame show next with Matt Whitmore and company on WHHI Sports TV. Come on back, y'all. Announcing the inaugural season of college basketball at the University of South Carolina Buford. Get ready to join in on the frenzy and excitement of college basketball as the Sand Sharks take on opponents at home in the USCB Recreation Center located on campus at One University Boulevard in Bluffton, South Carolina. You can find home and away game schedules for both men and women teams on uscbathletics.com. Don't miss this amazing season and catch the frenzy everyone is talking about. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653.
Services.com. Welcome into the postgame show of the high school basketball series. Guys, game of the week presented by Summit Services. Marcus Walsh, Matt Whitmore, Will Boswick, Kevin Libby, the rest of the team behind us, by the way. Coach, big win. Talk about what you saw out of your team in this 43-29 victory today, especially the guy to your right who's our MVP. I saw a team that, that had some toughness at, down the stretch. Um, I challenged them in one of my timeouts. I was a little bit disappointed. I thought our effort wasn't where it needed to be. Um, and I challenged them just to keep fighting. We didn't play well tonight, but we really fought down the stretch, and I think that was the difference. These guys did such an awesome job defensively. Of They got some kids that can score the ball. And we did an awesome job communicating down there, um, just making sure that we were all on the same page. Some of the guys that are behind me here that didn't put it in the basket tonight did just a phenomenal job on defense, and that kind of helped us get that momentum going and take the lead down the stretch. Give us a glimpse of what's going forward for your team. <laughs> a lot of games in a short time. Um, a lot of tough region games. This region is is wide open, I think. I think everybody's about very similar, um, but we're, it's just going to be a, a lot of toughness, a lot of really tough games. So that's kind of a message we try to send these guys all the time, that even Tuesday we, we came up short. We didn't play well, but we played hard and we played tough, so we had a shot down the stretch. And we just got to keep giving ourselves chances down the stretch, and we'll see what happens. Kev, you've got Will Bostwick. Will, the whole low country this afternoon, this evening, saw your game on display with these fellows behind you. Talk to a younger Will. If you're out there five, six years old throwing the TV on, what would you tell him about the game you just, you just played? I would tell him just keep working, just keep doing your thing, because honestly, I didn't even think I was going to go to this high school. I lived in Buford my whole life, and it's a blessing to be here. I'm just so happy I came here. I love my coaches. I love my teammates, and yeah. Happy you're a shark, Will. Yes, sir. That, that is great stuff. Congratulations, Will. Congratulations, Coach. Congratulations, guys. Big 43-29 win over Hilton Head. May River goes to 8-4 on the season. Hilton Head falls to 4-14. Four and 14. Next week, we will see Hilton Head as they head home. They'll take on the Bluffton Bobcats, and we're going to wrap it up here for this one tonight. For Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Jeremy Pope, the rest of our crew, I'm Marcus Walsh. We'll see you again next week. Hilton Head is hosting Bluffton. Let's hear it, guys. Yes, sir. On WHHI Sports TV. Until then, so long, everybody.